Mrs. Baca Gonzalez was entirely wrong to attack the four of us without any legal basis whatsoever. This certainly is not the way to foster a working relationship among counsel. Her comments were, were very disrespectful. Respectfully, I respectfully request that she apologize to counsel and the citizens of Trinidad for her bad behavior. Furthermore, Tom Murphy, no one helped me write this response. You must accept the fact that we Hispanics can read, write, and speak without any help. Item 10 on the agenda, petitions or communication, Laura written. First one on the list, Phil Rico. Foundation for the purpose of mediation. And what I'm going to do this evening is just reread uh, for uh, council as well as uh, the community at large that were not able to hear our proposal last week. So that is uh, what I'm going to be doing this evening. Elected members of city council, the proposed firing of Ed Gil de Rubio, city manager, the recall of Councilman Alfredo Pondo. The Trinidad Community Foundation recognizes that Mayor John Reno, City Manager, Ed Gil de Rubio, and each selected elected member of City Council are invested to make the City of Trinidad a better community. The Trinidad Community Foundation takes the side of the community, community regarding the issues that face, the, that face Trinidad and its future. As community leaders, the Trinidad Community Foundation humbly submits and offer to mediate and or facilitate a resolution to these issues. We as community leaders, we as community <coughs> members, and they as community leaders need to redirect our energy and refocus on the path to prosperity. We can do so by allowing the Trinidad Community, the Trinidad community Foundation to be involved with the council and all affected parties to continue working with Kim Crisco International Consultant to bring collaborative leadership back to our community in a productive way. Respectively submitted, Phil Rico, President of the Trinidad Community Foundation. And in addition, what we've done is we have adopted a mission statement for our mediation activity, which reads, with one voice, the Trinidad Community Foundation will turn the energy of these conflicts into a positive plan through mediation to bring harmony between city employees, city council, for the benefit of a deserving community. Thank you for the time. And if we are granted the opportunity at the end of the evening to uh, continue with mediation, I would like to uh, readdress council at that time. Thank you. Harry Sayer. Robert Fabic. Mr. Mayor, Councilwomen and Men, I am Robert Fabig, a citizen of Trinidad. I come before you to speak in support of Mr. Ed Gil de Rubio, our city manager. I do so for no other reason but that his retention would bode well for this community. In him we have not just a nice man in City Hall, but a manager who gets out in the community meeting people, wanting to, to know their concerns and thoughts. He visits our city shops and plants seeking to know how things work and how they can be improved. As a result, I even perceive that there may be an improvement in the morale and performance of the city's workforce. Personally, I was impressed after years of just going along with the ARPA, the Arkansas River Power Authority, we had a manager who questioned the benefits we received from that association versus the cost. 
Then when he saw the cost far outweighing the benefits, he had the guts to commence extracting us from or amending our participation in that association. After hearing about the possible dismissal of our city manager, I met with Councilman Bonato and talked with the phone with Mayor Reno, over the phone with Mayor Reno, who raised some concerns about the manager. So I made an appointment with and met with the city manager, Gil DeRubio, for the first time last Friday. I voiced concerns raised by our mayor and councilman, and to my satisfaction, being a former mayor, he belayed any concerns I would have had about those issues. Mr. Mayor, council women, and men, it is your responsibility and duty to act in the best interests of this community. Not yourself, not a particular family, not a clique, set of friends, or just those who you think voted for you, but for everyone. If you have a personal problem or issue that it will not allow you to act in this community's best interest, you should recuse yourself from discussing or voting on our manager's retention. If you do not or cannot understand the question at hand and all that it entails for the future of Trinidad, or unable to weigh the pros and cons of retaining or dismissing our manager, then you, should be, you would be serving the community best by not voting on this question. From my perspective, you will be doing Trinidad a disservice by dismissing Ed. Please vote to retain our manager here and now and put this issue behind us. I thank you for your time. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Steve Bolton. Council and the community tonight. I understand the Trinidad Community Foundation has recently gotten involved in mediation action between our council and the city manager. I applaud their actions to try to come up with a solution to this ongoing problem. You only have to live in Trinidad for a short while to know the good things that the foundation and generosities of members like Jay Chimino have provided for our community. But I believe if you ask any one of the members of this organization, they will tell you that they are apolitical. I believe their mission is to make Trinidad a nicer place to live, not to affect politics. The responsibility to control and affect our political situation lies on the rest of us. We as a community have the ultimate voice in how our town is run, and that voice is your right as an individual to vote. Along with Along with that, we citizens have the right to file and sign petitions without the fear of threats or reprisals. <clears throat> petitions that keep in check and remove politicians who have broken promises, lied, acted with disgrace, and in general let the public down while in office. I believe Mr. Pondo to be such a politician. Since the filing of the recall petition, the Trinidad Recall Action Committee and myself have been met from Mr. Pondo's supporters with lies, threats of economic boycotts, personal attacks, threats of violence, and destruction of personal property. There is all they, this is all they have been able to come up with to defend Mr. Pondo's position. Regardless of what has been said or done over the last couple of weeks, and regardless of what is said or done tonight, I still believe the recall of Mr. Pondo to be a solution to correct a city council that continues to take us where, continues to take us nowhere, and an action that will ensure we retain the best city manager that this town has ever had. <clears throat> Exercise your right and tell this council that their adverse actions and bullying will not be tolerated any longer. Support the Trinidad Recall Action Committee and sign our petition to recall Alfredo Pondo and ensure the future of the success of Trinidad. Thank you.